Hey guys, Mike with Motivate Fabrication. Hey, uh, today I'm uh, back on the Hendy lathe headstock. Um, my last video I finished putting together this uh, reversing assembly, the lead screw. So I uh, got the headstock tilted at an angle here. And my plan is, is I need to get the, um, the main shaft out of this lathe. Um, I've never taken one out before, so it's going to be a learning experience, but I'll, I'll show you why I want to get it out. So this is a D16 cam lock chuck. And for some reason, someone um, drilled holes on each side of the cam locks. These were all down. I got them pulled up and I wanted to mark them to see to which hole. But you can see, and some people speculate that, that someone uh, had an issue with the chuck coming loose in a production environment. I do know that this machine was in a production environment in Indiana. Um, you can see it looks like someone welded and ground there. Um, I don't, these are really hard to get out, but what I used was this uh, bearing puller slide hammer, and I was able to get them all out, but this one, um, like I said, I just stuck these back in, because I don't know if they're matched to the hole or not. But uh, today's project is to uh, get this headstock main spindle out of here. And to do that, I'm going to take the cover off the lathe head. Um, it's only got two bolts holding it on right now. I don't know. I did not uh, remove the rest. That's all I had when I got it. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off now. So uh, this is a 18 speed, 12 by 30 Hendy gearhead. Uh, back talking about this again. It seems like this might be cast iron. They have the way it chipped out on one of these areas. See if I can find it back. Oh, right there. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I have the ability to arc weld, MIG weld, and braze. So my plan is, is to um, weld these holes or braze these holes up and then maybe clean the uh, bore back up with a uh, like a adjustable boring bar in the mill. Um, I could probably leave it. I just, I just feel like it needs some attention comparison to, you know, the one on my other Hindi. It's just, that's yeah, in gear. It's a shame someone boogered this up like that, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, looking around to see how this actually uh, comes out of there. And uh, when I get it figured out, I'll bring you back in and show you, show you the process. All right, made a little progress. So first thing I did was um, this is a threaded on collar. Uh, there's a little set screw here you take loose and there's a hole that fits a uh, so spanner wrench and I just tap it with a hammer
that screws off there. Um, and then there's this gear. And you can see it's, it's keyed. And I actually got it to move a little bit by putting a screwdriver in between there, but it's pretty tight. I don't want to break that casting behind it. So I'm going to try to use a puller here. This is an old Snap-on or Blue Point branded puller. Piece of scrap. It's getting a lot easier now. I'll bring you back when I figure out the next step. All right, so I took these three bolts out of here. And I just tapped this off. It has these, uh, I believe that's to control the oil. Uh, not really, it's like a mechanical uh, oil control device. So there's a name for it. I'm gonna try to keep this stuff in order. And we got a tapered roller bearing in there. So definitely making progress. Okay, so I've spent uh, about half an hour figuring out what I need to do here. And I made some progress, but I still not sure if I got everything loose. It does, I have moved it, but uh, since I last took this uh, cone piece off, I um, came over here and there's this, this gear slides to the left, but it won't now, but there's um, a set screw in there and this, that spins off uh, going to the right. You can see the orientation of the head, I'm on the back side. And then I was able to screw this off there's a set screw and it spins uh, this away. And then there's these uh, three screws that you access through the spindle. And it holds this, I think it's like a bearing plate. And um, what I've been doing is, is, you can see I got, you know, I don't know, three quarters of an inch of movement taking this piece of lead and holding it on the end and and that's how I've gotten it to move. I I looked at the parts diagram and I looked at the spindle and the only threaded areas I see on the spindle are here, here, and here. There's a threaded collar in here, but I don't think it needs to come loose. I think it kind of holds this assembly. And once I get this off, Everything will make a lot more sense, but I'm gonna try to hit on that some more. See if I can get it out of there. There, let's do this. I'm 
missing something. Still turns fine. do some more thinking all right i think i figured out what it was holding me back this little key goes down in there and uh won't slide past the inner bearing race and what it was butted up against the back of the shaft and that's why it wouldn't i think why it wouldn't come out so i'm gonna go head on here some more Let's see if i can make any progress This used to be a hammer, it looked like that. It's deforming quite a bit. Like I say, guys, my first time ever Man, it's a lot bigger than a class. Look at the size of that. So yeah, that that little key was definitely what was holding me up. Right there. Don't think I did any damage though. really good oh way too close here I can't feel that it just seems like discoloration from it sitting in one spot for so long once you figure out how what you got to take loose I think that will actually come right out of there yep here's that I, there's actually a hole on top you can get a pin spanner on and then the set screw I took out. Oh, 
This is a bearing that's got some weird pattern on it, like almost like the thread of the, the shaft. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm kind of embedded in it. I don't think I did that. That's a stout gear. And then this other collar. Piece of paper down in there. That is back side. This is that rear bearing retainer. Looks to be in good shape. So overall, I don't see anything. Oh, there's metal in there. Shavings. Must have came in through the oil port, but. but like I said, this part right here, it doesn't, um, it's held in with a ball bearing there and a, it appears to be, I can't really tell, some, probably a ball bearing there as well. But the uh, main shaft goes through it. There is an inner bearing in here, which looks like it would Probably to get that out, you'd have to take this assembly out. I don't think it'll come out otherwise, otherwise, but I don't see any reason to take it out. The bearings all look okay to reuse. Um, now I'm going to uh, figure out a way to uh, attempt to fix this with the mill or Maybe I just wasted a bunch of time, but uh, I don't think I wasted time because now I know how it comes out and now you guys know how it comes out. So uh, I think I'm gonna call this video quits for today and um, I may make another one of me uh, welding or brazing that up and repairing those holes or at least cleaning them up, but I'm not sure yet. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please come, please uh, consider subscribing, help my channel out. Appreciate it. Thanks. Have a nice day. All right, guys. Uh, I decided to tack on the end of this video how I uh, I came up with fixing these uh, D1 cam lock or D16, I think it's called cam lock holes that's been drilled on. Um, I got most of them repaired. I gotta do some cleaning up. I left this last one to show you what I did. You can see where they drilled holes. I took a piece of copper pipe and slitted it. And um, the weld won't stick to the copper very well or at all. So I put it down in there. What that does for me, I can weld this up and not get any uh, any excess weld into the into the hole, so I don't have near as much to clean up. Uh, I'll go ahead and weld it here, and um, I'll show you what it looks like. It looks it doesn't look very good until it's um, cleaned up.
while we're stuck. Hey guys, now I need to take a Dremel and clean this up around here, but I thought I was going to have to use a boring bar in the middle, but I really didn't get any in there. Just a little bit of cleaning up and I'll try to remark some of these marks on the ones where there was holes drilled. But overall, I mean, my only concern is, is like warping that, but the welding is pretty, I'm trying to do it one side to the next and keep it, the heat pretty low. I mean, after doing all those, I can still hold it. So, um, anyway, I think, uh, I think it's an improvement to what it was. I don't like the, the finish, so I need to, Gonna find a way to even it out and I don't know even maybe distress it a little bit because I hate the way it looks like I someone ground all over it because someone did grind all over it but you know anyway let me know what you think could I make it worse than what it was so I just left it I don't know I just didn't like the way it looked so there it is. That's my plan anyway. I gotta clean up the uh, the ends of these. Sorry, my face mask keeps moving over my mouth. Probably these I can tell are hardened, and so I don't want to get them too hot and take the temper out of them. But or the heart, not temper out of them. I don't want to get them too hot and make them soft, anneal them. But some of these are pretty. Uh, pretty butchered so I'm gonna do my best to fix those but um, anyway thanks for uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time